Hey everyone and happy Christmas to everyone. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't really around much in the last couple of weeks because I've just been swamped with work in real life. Yeah, I just didn't get a chance to get around to doing much of my computer work, but what I have been watching kind of in the few minutes that I do have every day um, to catch up on YouTube videos is I've really enjoyed watching what people have gotten for Christmas. So I thought I'd do a quick kind of December haul what I got for Christmas kind of video. Um, there's a good bit to go through because I've just kind of accumulated a lot over the month between stuff that was sent to me, stuff that was gift to me, gifted to me for Christmas and then stuff I got myself because um, obviously there's loads of good sales and deals and stuff over Christmas. So I'll begin with um, some Mac stuff I suppose. So I really got into wearing lipsticks again this month because my braces are gone obviously and I probably will do an update for you. Um, I just haven't really gotten around to it yet but what I'm really into at the moment are the berry kind of reds or the deep reds so I absolutely adore this guy here this is Dare You it's a creme sheen by um, MAC and it's just a really beautiful deep kind of ruby red I also love Hang Up this is more of a kind of wine red it's like a bit more on the berry side what's really in at the moment that is a creme sheen finish as well so they're really creamy and luxurious on the lips they're absolutely stunning Diva is another one I've been loving this one is more matte so it is a bit more drying but it's beautiful on the lips a bit similar to Hang Up I suppose I also picked up a couple of the Viva Glams I have the Viva Glam 3 uh, surprise surprise another red this one is another really deep luxurious red it's not as um uh, amazing I think sometimes when you see it just from the bullet but it's beautiful on the lips I really love it it's beautiful on dark against dark hair and I also got the Viva Glam Nikki um Christmas set this year so Nikki is that bright bright kind of coral pink it's not a color I really wear by itself um on the lips but I love it over auburn lip pencil or another really dark red lip pencil and um, it's beautiful like that it came with this class clutch this is what I absolutely love about it it also came with um one of the lip uh conditioners which I don't have on me um but I'm in, absolutely in love with this clutch it'd be perfect for a night out really easy to clean if you do spill your makeup because it's that kind of pvc material it's much smaller and less kind of chunky than my normal makeup bag so it would be perfect when I don't want to bring too, too much stuff out with me now I also picked up a MAC brush, this is the MAC 205, uh, if you can see what it is, it's actually the teeniest fan brush in the world and it's for your lashes so I just wanted to have this because I don't have one like it and I wanted, I've been kind of lusting after this for a while, I wouldn't have maybe the most use for it except for maybe on clients who are very very blonde um, and it's hard to get their roots done but I'm interested to play around with it so this is only 11 euros in Ireland, it's really inexpensive. MAC have also come out with new, they've kind of redone their palettes. So as we all know, the MAC uh, 15 pan palettes, everyone knows what they look like. Now they've brought out new palettes with, first of all, the cover is see-through, which I love. And they don't come with the inserts. The inserts are separate. Now they are more expensive. The old palettes were 16 euro, I think. This palette here without the insert is 18 euro. And to buy the inserts separately is 8 euro on top of that. But I love it without the inserts because you can fit in so much more product and of course it's still the same um, magnetised base and all that kind of stuff so I got the last two in the store the last day in Galway um, there'll be plenty more coming in but I'm delighted with those because it's so handy for putting your refill eyeshadows and um, blushes into. And one more MAC product I got uh, yeah, was this MAC Mineralized Charged Water, the spray mist. I've had this before and I just love it. Um, it's a bit more expensive than the Fix Plus. The Fix Plus is like 16.50, I think, and this is 19. But this is infused with a few more like vitamins and minerals and stuff like that. And of course it has that diamond powder stuff in it. Um, but I just love the smell of it and everything. I just think it's really, really lovely. So I just treated myself to that. Now, um, brush sets are something I had um, a bit of a field day with as well. I got two brush sets. I was sent the Sigma Performance Brush Set, which I have been lusting and coveting, lusting after and coveting for ages. Um, as you know, I'm really into my eye looks and big into eye makeup. I used this, I used this brush um, set to do this look today. So if this um, tutorial is up before this video, I'll link to it below. Otherwise, it'll be up straight away afterwards. But these are fantastic brushes. It's only sixty-one dollars. You get eight 
brushes. So we have your little liner brush, which of course I love. You use this for eyeliner. I also used it to tight line my eyes today, but it does come with two different tight line brushes. I just didn't want to use every single brush for the look. And um, you have the E16 and the E17. The E16 is a longer one, which means you can get up into the top tight line. Um, and the waterline, the E17, which is for the bottom waterline. They're just really, really handy brushes to have. You could, of course, use them for like eyeliner and stuff like that. They're not just for what they say, but um, they do work really well for what they're meant to be for. The shader, which is your regular eyeshadow brush, but it's a little bit smaller, so you can be a bit more precise about application, stuff like that. I love that. One of my favourite brushes is the smudge brush, the E21. I love this for packing on eyeshadow. I used it on with my sketch eyeshadow, either side of the Kitsch Miss pigment um, today for this look. And it really packs it on really intense. So I love it and it's great, of course, for smudging um, colour underneath the lower lashes as well. So that's fantastic. You get this inner corner brush, the E46, which is just the perfect size for getting in around the tear duct. You can also use it like underneath your brow and stuff like that if you need and you come with a shader and a blending brush so this is like an in between like say normal eyeshadow and a blending brush and this is like a teeny tiny version of say like the MAC 222 uh, 2 or something like that brilliant brushes and these are all uh, that I used for my eye makeup today then I made my first ever Coastal Sense purchase there um, a couple of weeks ago I know I don't know how I went so long without getting them I just I don't know I just never got around to it so I purchased the 22 set or brush set piece brush set um, there's also another couple of brushes but I use them in the look today I love this guy here um, unfortunately the, the individual brushes aren't named so I'm just going to call them like a flat top kabuki and stuff like that but this one is brilliant for foundation the brushes, the brush set itself, I got it for like $17 because it was on 40% off on the website this brush set was uh, sold out when I was on it yesterday but the brushes are the, for the, the quality for the price I am absolutely blown away and even the brush roll that it comes in is phenomenal so like at full price it's still only like $35 or something ridiculously um, uh, affordable so I'd highly 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 recommend that I will of course be using um, more of these brushes and brush sets in future videos so don't worry about that and I'll do other um, reviews on them I also got this one separately um, this is the Coastal Sense BRC S26, kind of long-winded, but it's a little bit like, say, um, the MAC 131, but it's shorter and stumpier, and I adore these brushes, particularly for applying like um, mineral makeup and stuff like that. So I was really um, delighted with myself with those purchases. Yeah, this one also came in the brush set, but I still got it separate because it was only like four quid or something separate. It was really, really inexpensive. Um, a couple of other Coastal Sense things I got. I got um, little samples of eyeshadows. Uh, I have I used Incognito today as the black for my look. It's such intense matte black. I really recommend it. We have Polished Ivory here, which I've been using all week as, high, as a highlight. Absolutely love it. Then we also have um, Caramel Ice down here and uh, Aluminium Taupe, which is just like Satin Taupe by MAC. They are brilliant eyeshadows for the price I can't recommend them more and I also got a few different like pigment samples but I haven't even had a chance to check them out yet or try them out so this will all happen like in the coming months when I get a chance when I get around to it another couple of things I got from Coastal Sense were some glitters I loved the look of these just look how vibrant the yellow one is so that's the starburst glitter and then this is Tropicana which is a beautiful uh, copper glitter so you get loads and they're really inexpensive as well. I mean, you can see yourself on the website, everything is so affordable, but it's 40% off at the moment. So it's absolutely mind boggling. I also did pick up a couple of the palettes. I've heard a good thing about, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about their concealer palettes, but I have, um, I have come across some of these discounted um, kind of sellers palettes before. <laughs> um, that I wasn't maybe bonkers about and some I was happy with so I wasn't sure if I wanted to try them out I'm really impressed with the quality of these this one here, let's see if I can get the price yet um, I think these might be discounted as well the Eclipse palette I got for $748 so I think it probably would have been maybe $15 or something like that normal price 
it's brilliant you get 15 colors and they're all really creamy and i was worried that they'd be kind of sheer and a bit wishy-washy and they're not at all i have been wearing using them all week and really impressed with the quality for the price and i also got a couple of the quads these guys were 7.95 um i think discounted got the light and the medium honestly if you were very light skinned you could still get away with the medium um, obviously the darker one is more for medium skin but you could use that for contouring the light is very very light so still a brilliant brilliant to have for your kit and i used it today on this look it's brilliant to have for a professional kit particularly and anyone who's looking for inexpensive but really decent um concealers then also finally got from coastal sense the bright eyed eye brightener um i'm wearing it today don't know if you can tell it's just a really lovely pinky peach um kind of like concealer brightener for underneath the eye it works really really well i got the one in ivory i think which is the lightest one so this is of course for the palest of the pale and then there's three other colors so it's a pretty decent um uh, color range and that, and that one was 9.95 so um it's not the most expensive thing in the world by any means i went into boots there the last day and i picked up some new foundations i wanted to get i have the stay perfect foundation i was matched with their new fancy like apparently um foolproof color selector thing um and they had matched me to warm ivory but it was too dark so I went in yesterday and I picked up Calico, which is the palest foundation they do. And it's um, supposed to be, well, the girl told me it was warm, which in um, number seven land, that means like max cool. So it's yellow or yellow based. Yeah. But this is, um, it is a very gray foundation, the Calico. Now, normally I kind of like gray. Uh, it can usually suit me, but this is a little bit gray. So I did have to go over with a warm um, or with kind of quite a cool, this is going to be really confusing, with a yellow based um powder just to try and balance it out so I use my Clinique um, Invisible Blend but it's still a lovely foundation and that's why I wanted to get the Calico because I loved how it performed with the warm ivory but it's just the colour was a little bit too deep on me so I will definitely use this I'll just have to use um, a yellow base uh, powder on top and these are only like 18 or 19 euros in Ireland and they were on a three for two yesterday in boots so I picked up two other colors from my kit I picked up beige and deeply beige so they'd be two like kind of really popular colors they'd be kind of like maybe NW20 by MAC maybe not as pink and then in C30 but maybe not as yellow so it would do, do really well with kind of like tans and stuff like that and you also got a free gift with number seven when you spent or when you bought more than two pro products so in the free gift, there was four little things. You got this little eyeshadow. Um, I don't know what it's called, the name of this eyeshadow, but it's a gorgeous little black sparkly one with um, gold reflex. Then you got this gorgeous um, uh, silver eye pencil. You got a kind of a rose colored lipstick. Wouldn't be my favorite color in the world, but it'd definitely handy for the kit. And then a little sample size of the exceptional definition mascara, which would be always handy to have. So I also picked up a few bits skincare wise yesterday while I was in Boots. To begin with those, it was the La Roche-Posay um, My Micellar Solution, or the Micellar Solution, which I am constantly replenishing. This is like the fourth one this year that I've gotten or something like that, but I love this product. I also picked up um, this Botanics, the Power Plant, Rose Water Toning Spritz. It's 100% organic spritzing water. Um, I was actually going to get my normal thermal water instead, but I saw this and this is only five euro, euro something. So I got this and I thought it was fantastic. I've used it last night and this morning. Um, was that all I picked up yesterday? Yeah. But other skincare bits that I've picked up over the month was I replenished my Clinique number two clarifying lotion. Absolutely adore this. I'd say I'm on my fourth bottle this year as well. I got my second one of these for the year. It's the L'Oreal Triple Active Renourish Velvet Toner. So this is a great toner for anyone who's more normal combination to dry skin, who doesn't want anything to dry them out. This one is actually for dry sensitive. So I am definitely um, trying to make sure my skin doesn't dry out this month with all the like harsh uh, air conditioning and stuff like that. So this is fantastic. I also picked up, and the same idea is to keep my skin nice and moisturised, this Aquilea Thermal uh, Mineral Balm by, by Vichy. This is beautiful, it's a really intensive moisturising balm. It's about 28 euros, so it's not the most ex inexpensive thing, but it's brilliant. And it came with this free uh, Aquilea Thermal Lip Balm, so I love that. That's only 4 euro on can normally. This month I also picked up um, another Expert Face brush by Real Techniques. I adore this brush 
for applying foundation and for applying um, mineral foundation. It's absolutely brilliant. And I think that's all from Boots pretty much. Oh no, I picked up a couple of Barry M stuff. I picked up this gorgeous Barry M dust in number 98. Um, I'll definitely be showing it in videos in the future because it's beautiful. But I also picked up this eyeshadow pencil. The reason I love this eyeshadow pencil is because it's waterproof, smooth and long wearing and it really does not budge. So I got the black one, it's fantastic. And then you were able to pick a free nail polish when you picked more than two items up from Barry M. So I got this pink one, which is class. Sleek Makeup have sent me a couple of their new eyelashes that they're just released. So I'm really delighted with those. I got the, what are they called? Uh, Savannah and Ragdoll. So I'm really looking to try, looking forward to trying them um, soon in upcoming tutorials and looks and stuff like that. I think that's all for makeup. So quickly I'll show you um, a couple of non-makeup bits. For my Chris Crindlin work, um, or Chris Kindle, I never know what's the right word, I got this gorgeous little bracelet from River Island that has a little diamante skull in it, um, which I just love, it's really, really cute. And then I got this silver ring from my boyfriend for Christmas. Of course, you can all remember, if, you've, if you're used to my videos, you'll know that I've gone through several um, of these rose rings, but um, they, none of them have ever been like proper silver before, or... or um, like proper quality so I love this this is like my favorite present this year my sister-in-law got me two of the coolest presents this year as well she got me a couple of makeup books I got the makeup artist handbook that one is by Gretchen Davis and Mindy Hall and I also got this makeup is art book which I am absolutely in love with it has the most beautiful visuals um, I'm running out of battery now so I don't really have time to show too many pictures but it just has some of the most beautiful pictures in it so I'm really looking forward to getting inspiration from that. One of the last things I got for myself was this tattoo art book. I got this in HMV because it was only like seven euros. Yeah it just has some really beautiful pictures again and like the story behind tattooing and different like bits to do with it in there so it's just a really nice book to have kind of to flick through I suppose when you're looking for inspiration or um if you are thinking of getting new tattoos and you just want to have a bit of a light read, I was really delighted with that. I got that when I was picking up other presents. And then finally, um, I got these boots in um, New Look. So I really, really like these for work because it's a good sturdy heel. And I really like the um, style of them as well. It was like 45 euro in New Look and I've worn these all Christmas so far and they are really really comfortable so I'm really delighted with them. Yeah I think that's pretty much, oh actually no, quickly, these are like the last things I just forgot to show, some Vichy foundations. I got some more um, Norma Derm Tint, these are going to be amazing for my kit because they're really good for anyone with problem skin and another Vichy, um, Vichy Derma Blend foundation so this is brilliant for anyone who needs really really good coverage and of course you know I love my Vichy foundations but yeah that's it um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone else got for Christmas sorry about um, the kind of speediness of this video I just wanted to fit as much in as possible um, and not have it too long and I am running out of battery so. see loads more in the upcoming days and weeks anyhow because I plan on trying to catch up with my videos now that work is kind of calming down a little bit and I'll chat to you all really soon so yeah take care guys Salon.